I'm in the beautiful lakeside town of Chelan, Washington, to help a husband and wife repair their bad reputation. They have built walls around themselves. They are absolutely no part of this community. They don't know the difference between right and wrong. There's no such thing as a fresh burger. What? And they are so stubborn. You don't even know the fucking story. It'll be a challenge to get through to them. All you've done since I've arrived here is lie to me. And I totally fucking disagree with that. Chelan, Washington, surrounded by the gorgeous Cascade Mountains, situated on Lake Chelan. This small town is home to the Lakeview Hotel and BC McDonald's restaurant. Owners Brent and Anthony McDonald have been in business here for over 15 years. We bought the hotel in 2000. We came into town and, and a lot of the locals, they really didn't want to see us make it. They figured they won't be here long. Well, I let them know that we are going nowhere. You're stuck with us. The Lakeview Hotel is adults only. We think that it's the nicest hotel probably in the state of Washington. We have a great place here, BC McDonald Lakeview Hotel, but business is really slow. We're losing probably 30,000 a month, easy. The financial situation here at the hotel and the restaurant, it is tough. And this year it's extremely tough because we had wildfires in the area. And quite honestly, that's what kind of has broke the bank. The majority of the reason why there's no consistent business here is Brent and Afni's reputation. And I'm talking. I am talking. Customers come in and she say, you hurry up, you go sit down. I training, you sit down, we'll be with you in a minute. I'm the best employer in town. I think I'm easy to work with. Just be quiet, will you please? You know, I don't know why people don't like to be here. If you want to keep money flowing through, the locals need to like you. And, you know, if you have a bad attitude towards the locals or other customers, they're not going to come back. Get out there and do a little dance. Come on. I know you used to pole dance. Get your ass out there. I definitely get very embarrassed by some of the things he says. I hope you got a lot of energy tonight, because, oh, no. baby, this is, this is no, Friday night. Friday night. People are coming to a nice restaurant. They don't want to hear dirty jokes and cussing and everything like that. Brent does not like to be told anything. You can tell him the sky's blue, and he's, it's going to upset him. I think that people are lucky to work for us. I think I got a great management style. Chelan is, is a beautiful town. The opportunity is there. Um, we just get overlooked because of Brent and Anthony's reputation. All of our money that we have made in the last 30 years has been sunk into this business, and we have so much invested, we cannot stop, because otherwise we're, we're done. Could be. Okay. So. That's him. I did say Valley Park, right? Yeah, it's not my eyesight. Maybe he thinks he has the wrong place. Oi. Valley Park is not. Oh, wow. Oh, baby. The best breakfast, lunch, and dinner in town. Come on Hello. in. Come on in. How are you both? Good afternoon, yeah, good Chef afternoon. Ramsey. What a gorgeous drive that was. Oh, thank you. Uh, how are you? Oh, I was ladies first. Yeah, I, know, sorry. I, I, well, I, I totally understand that. Nice good to, to see meet you. you. Yeah. Um, are we uh, the valley parking on strike? Hey, it is, this time of year. So it's temporary valley parking. Uh, what do I do in my car? Because you kept the sign there. I, I'll park it for you. How about that? Wow. It's the last time we dusted in here. It's a bit dusty. Man. What's that there? Something is growing up there. Yeah. Can you see that, or is it me? Can you I, see that I, from there? I can see it. Wow. Yeah, it's right there. We missed I know that you're one. both wearing glasses. I just want to make sure you can see it. <laughs> it's wow. Not, it's not real easy to see for me. How would you get that down? Well, usually well, we, have we a, use that. We have that a long pole, long pole. And where is yeah. the pole? It's, it's right in the uh, back here. 
I'll be right back. Wow. Well, now you've made everything dusty down here. I've made it dusty. No, you haven't cleaned it. Yeah. Supposing that falls on a customer's head, what would you do? I don't, I don't think that it will, actually. Oh, you don't think it will? No. Well, it's been oh. up there for about six months. It seems to oh, so be know. growing, actually. That is disgusting. Yeah. Brett, shame on you. I know it. Wow. And what's in here? More dust over here, Brett. Look. Is there more? You must have missed that spot, too. There's a big, long, creepy yes, crawly hanging yes, down I, there. Yes, I see that. Wow. We've been closed for the last three right. weeks. When it's so slow this time of the year, we go on a holiday. And when you close, do you normally clean before you close? Or do you come back dirty? Uh, come back uh, the way it is and... Wow. Look at that up there. We're, we're living in a very uh, dusty environment here. That's bullshit. Yeah, OK. Uh, come on, seriously? This is mountain clean air. Well, that is, I mean, yes. that's, that's all true, yes. Oh, yes. oh there you go. Yeah. There we go. Thank you for that. No problem. I, I didn't expect to clean as I checked yeah. in. I, oh, my god, there you go. They are gross, right? Don't mess it up too much. It's all going to come down. Well, how long are you thinking of keeping it up there? We might as well do them all while we're at it. We might as well do them all. <laughs> yeah. It's not funny. I've got to get this thing out here. Holy shit. Look at that. Jeez. God damn it, Daphne. Well, Why I'm didn't you fine. get to that? And how long have you owned this place? 15. 15 years? 15 years. Was you that just... the last time it was cleaned? It was clean. You're just good. Just I was... You've, got a, you've got a great eye. Yeah, I can I tell you that. Missed. I've done lots of things on arrival, but I've never quite cleaned shit like that from a ceiling. Yeah. Can I give that back yeah, to you? Yeah, I'll do that. OK. Right. Yeah, thank you. Um, what's going on here? On the front door, you've got 40 flavours. Yes. So no samples. Yes. When we're really, really busy, we have a line that goes out the door. Yeah, and stop talking and about this. And if sorry. one person asks for uh, a sample, they will all ask for a sample. And how do you think all those yogurt franchises entice business? They offer samples. So they speculate to accumulate. Sorry, no samples. Sorry, no samples. Who comes up with all these stupid rules? Probably myself. Man, you like kicking the crap out of the locals, don't you? Yes. So I you take it we're not going to get. Oh, there's another one. Yes. There's me thinking that's a flavor. So how long ago did this close? Oh, my God, look how dusty it, that it, is. It's not closed. This is not closed? No, it's not. Stop. It is not. It looks like it's Oh, no. Bloody hell. Where's the stick gone? Please. Oh, my God. This is monstrous. This is like a cobweb on steroids. Where's the stick gone? She's getting it. So why did you close for three weeks? Uh, I went on a holiday. Wow. And where did you go? Mexico. Wow. Did you enjoy Mexico? Yeah. You did? Really, and we enjoyed being uh, together. She only came for a week. She gives me what, what uh, a mean? week oh, by myself. Say, say, say that again? You go on holiday on your own? I do. Rest for a week, and yeah. your wife comes for the second uh, week? My wife and daughter meet me for the second week. Would you not like to go for two weeks holiday? I, well, I would love to if I have a chance. Oh, I see. Right. Um, I just want to yeah. get this thing down here. You seen the size of this one? Yep. Holy crap. Is that a keeper? That. Look at that. This is above a nice cream yeah, parlor. If we turn that on, it's going to spin dust. Well, hopefully it won't. Well, oh, we... Look at that. Yeah, that is on. Look at now. What? I, I think you're doing awesome, actually. I, I think that we should yeah. possibly hire him, really, you know? I'm glad that I'm hired to clean. Yeah, that's... Wow. Do I have to take this to my room? It may be a good idea. Are you serious? No. Let's go. No dust, right? Oh, shit. Whilst I'm up here, look. Oh, come on. No, but look at these ones here on the top we'll, of that. We'll, we'll get it. Oh, now you'll get it. Well, it's obvious that you haven't done it before. Well, Let's go. you know. How many rooms do you have here? Twelve. Twelve. Wow. This room probably isn't for you, Which but we're going to give it to you anyway. What do you mean by that? It's for people that haven't been laid for a while, quite honestly. Say that again, Simon? People that haven't been laid. 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 As in? As in? What's that got to do with me checking into this room? Wow. And this is a room for those who haven't been laid recently. You don't talk like that to guests. Well, this is an awesome room. It offers the best view that we have right. of the river part of Lake Chelan. Wow, wow. It has a stacked stone fireplace, awesome ceiling. I think they're 15 feet. 
And um, that's an awesome dusty ceiling. See those beams? I can see, yeah, I see that a little bit. Wow, man, what is it with dust around here? Well, as I said, we're in a dusty area. Apart from the dust, the rooms are gorgeous. Yes. These are the air conditioning uh, units. Where's that? So you don't have that funky thing down here that cries motel. I thought it was a TV. No, it's uh, air conditioning. It's both, we program it for both AC or... Right, so where do I adjust the temperature? Uh, you don't. They're preset. It's set at 68 degrees. Wow. Why is it set like that? I keep the remote controls because yes. I absolutely know that they will get screwed up if I leave them up here in the room. You don't give samples, you don't let me keep the remotes, and you don't let me bring the temperature up or down. It's not really the get laid room, is it? Uh, that's up to you. Well, wow, you're, you're setting the bar. You're, you're okay. telling me what I can and what I can't do. Weird, very weird. Look how dusty this is as well. How do I open that up? So you got all these fancy guns. Would, would you like me to open it? Yes, please. Thank you. Wow. When was the last time they were cleaned? That gets cleaned about twice a year. Ugh. Uh, would you mind if I just make it three times this year? Yeah, I think that sounds great, actually. OK. So the air conditioning unit you control, they have to breathe in this shit at night. Are you bullshitting me? No, I'm not shitting you. Right. Can you... Um, I will take that. Your mind? Yeah. I've got no interest in breathing yeah. your uh, dust. OK, I'm going to unpack and I'll be down in five minutes. OK. Please. Right. Wow. Whew. Honestly, look at that. Terrible. Disgusting. Hello. Hi. Man, um, the dust when I walked in. What the hell is going yes. on there? Bizarre. How long have you been here? A month. So you're a new kid on the block. I am, yes. Wow. <laughs> Do they go through a lot of stuff? I think so. There is some that have been here for years, but actually wow. the ones that were here, the cooks, they have recently yeah. left and... I mean, how would you describe them as bosses? Um, different than any I've ever had. Yeah, I'll say. Anyway, let's order. Um, obviously I was going to have a glass of wine, hoping to get sure. something local, having just driven through those amazing vineyards, but there's nothing local here. <laughs> no. I mean, New Zealand, Sauvignon Blanc. How weird. Uh, what would you recommend for lunch? What's the soup today? The soup is a minestrone. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Uh, BC's bacon burger. Yeah. Okay. Let's do a, a pizza as well. The oh, homemade, right? Uh, sorry, actually, we don't do the pizzas any longer. I don't know why the page is not taken out. Wow. Okay. Uh, anything else that's not on? We are out of the pork stir fry, and we do not have chili. Uh, no chili. Wow. Let's do a prime rib as well with that, shall we? Um. Please. I believe we're out of prim rim. Oh, we're out, we're out of a lot I of things. I believe so, yeah. The um, turkey ciabatta dip is usually a good one. Let's, let's do a turkey dip. OK. Um, hold on a minute, breaking news. BC soon to be famous, teriyaki steak. What the fuck does that mean? When someone says soon to be famous, who writes this shit on the menu? <laughs> soon to be famous. Why would that be on the menu? I think we should try it. Let's go. Um, I think we're done. OK. Yeah? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, though. Okay, do you need help? Minister of soup, right? Correct. Excellent. Wow, that doesn't even taste homemade. It's frozen. It's frozen. Yes. Frozen minister soup. Yeah. Okay. This is terrible. We've got the BC bacon burger. Wow. Jeez. Look how thin that is. My onion ring's thicker than my pate. <laughs> huh? Where are they from? I, I'll find out that answer. On the hamburgers, it says on the menu, certified Angus beef. Where do we get that? Are they fresh or frozen? No, we, we always come back that's frozen. Twelve ninety five. That's overcooked. And the, the, the pate is bland. It actually tastes frozen. But please tell us. It, it does come frozen. So, it says fresh and it's not anywhere near. $13 for that. Oh, that is brutal. Oh, that's the food coming out. It's very good. This is the um, turkey milk. Thank, Thank you. you. And what's this here? That is the broth for the turkey. The dip. broth. Mm -hmm. If you want to dip your sandwich in it. Holy <laughs> shit, what is that in there? Just have a little sip. Wow. So salty. Yes, it is. So bad. 
It's salty and bitter. Jesus. You want to taste this, actually. He had me taste it. Oh, yeah, it's really salty. Really salty? Yeah. Holy shit. This here is the teriyaki chicken burger. The nearly famous burger. What is that? And what's he doused it in? Teriyaki over cheese. Oh, nearly famous. Because it's about to be famous to send me to the bathroom. Yeah. I mean, I'm not even going to go there. Nope. I'll just have a coffee. Okay. Thank you. you bet. Right. Let's get reviewing. Well, wow. headline, do not go here. If you want mediocre, overpriced food, this is the place for you. Unfortunately, not my dig. Bloody hell. Wow, well, this is terrible. This is terrible. Oh, it's awful. I mean, look at the headlines. What an odd place. The owner badmouthed another local place at our table. Do not go here. Run, 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 far away. Horrible service, terrible food, and stupid expensive. The owners are jerks who are rude and don't support their staff. They don't welcome kids. No wonder this place is empty. They're that bad. It is. It's very awkward. You know, Afni says they don't listen to this. These are customers. They're all right. negative. And psst, FYI, <laughs> no samples allowed. That's right. It's a tight bastard. Yeah. Is he really stingy? Absolutely. Is he? Yeah. And the lack of, you know, children. And they do have a um, teenage daughter. So they have a teenage daughter, but they don't welcome kids. Yes. He goes on holiday for a week on his own, suns himself, gets nice and bronzed, then she joins him for the second week. But he wants a week on his own. Oh. It's just like, wow. Well, I have not heard that. Yeah. What a creep. Yeah. If I did that to my wife, she'd kick me in the nuts. Yes. <laughs> I'm at a loss. This place is depressing. Mm -hmm. I'd like to um, get the owners down here. Let's just have a little debrief, shall we? Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Wow. Jesus Christ. They want us? He does. Yeah. Let's go. It's okay. Take huh? everything it's serious. Fine with me. Don't say anything. No. Make like fun. No, no, no. You think that is not fun? Stop it. Okay. I'm at a loss. The biggest kick in the balls for me is that on the menu it states homemade, fresh, daily changing soup of the day. Your soup of the day, mm -hmm. Brent, is frozen. Can you make minestrone soup? Yes. How much does it cost to make a litre? A uh, couple bucks. Tell the owner. And you have the nearly famous burger. I'd like to congratulate you because it's now famous as the most disgusting bit of shit between a bun I've ever seen. You have a slice of red onion that's thicker than your pate. It was frozen. And you're charging $13.95 for it. I don't know how low we can go. The list. Everything's from New Zealand. There's not even a local wine on here. Well. Give it to me, then. Well, I'll give it to you. Most of these wineries all opened up restaurants. There, there are competitors. So you can't support the local vineyards? Yeah. Well. I came in here to help. I'm laughed at, lied to, and fed frozen food. And as an owner, you too can't be that gone. Otherwise, I'm going to go. Right before dinner, I had a chance to catch up with Teddy, the manager, so I could understand his perspective of what Afni and Brent are like as owners. Inappropriate things are commonly said. His personality has a lot to do with it. It's you know really common that he'll make you feel that this is the best place and you're lucky to be here. Their behavior as bosses is unacceptable. Wow, wow, wow. Clearly in denial. I appreciate the insight. Yeah. yeah well, cheers. Well, thank you. Thank you. I'll see you in there, yes? Definitely. And I want to observe what they're like during an evening at the Lakeview. So you have a key to the room, but let's hope that it's ready. A couple things that we're not offering, um, no Chilean sea bass, no pizza. So No pizza? No pizza, no sea bass. Very disappointing. Fucking hell. Frozen, frozen, frozen. Wow, not even wrapped. Where are the burgers? I mean, it just doesn't look anything like a burger. And when it's processed like that and stamped and pressed, you can just tell. Right. Frozen food. Wow. Brett, come with me. Yeah. How's the fettuccine? It's OK. Not the best. Damn, I'm sorry. Um, burgers. Mm -hmm. A burger cooked here locally, would you expect that to be frozen or fresh? Fresh. 
the burger is not frozen. It's the, the patties and everything come in frozen and they're thawed out. Is that like most oh, people? Do. You thawed it out. So it's not the frozen beef. then. It comes in frozen. Yeah. You thaw it out, and that to the, your customers is not a frozen burger. Well, um, stay there. Let me just show you, you something. You... I'm waiting for him to come back. He's gonna ream me on something. Oh boy, here we go. Mm -hmm. So there's your burgers. It's a frozen. Thank you. Now your husband said it wasn't. No. What do you mean? No, it's 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 frozen. Of course, I, I never said that it wasn't. It we thaw it out here. Yeah. It comes in frozen. Yeah. It's still a frozen burger. There's no such thing as a fresh burger. At least at least here in Eastern Washington, what? We, we cannot get fresh. There's no fresh. You find me the burger. Come with me. Yeah. Good evening. Welcome. Please come in out of the cold. Are you dinner? dinner? Yes. Quick question. Do you love a burger? Yeah, I love a burger. Madam. Yes. Would you expect them to be made fresh here or frozen? Fresh. Fresh. Are you going to tell them or should I tell them? Fresh all the way. No, should we tell them the truth? I mean, that's what we want to well, do. Well, we, we sell uh, our, our burgers come in frozen and we thaw them out. But thawing them out doesn't make them fresh. fresh. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for coming, you guys. Welcome, ladies. Hey, folks. How are you? Quick question. Coming out for dinner, would you expect a frozen burger to be served here tonight or a fresh one? Fresh. Fresh. Are you going to tell them or should I tell them? I'll let you tell them. Oh, come on, you own the place. Well, we, all of our beef that we get in, burgers, it, it comes in frozen. Oh. Our burgers, and we, and we thaw them out. Which, in his mind, convinces him it's fresh. Oh. Does that make it sound any better? No. Thank you. All right, thank you. We're still thank glad you. to have you. Thank, thank you. You, you, you bet. Oh, my God. After Brent tried to convince me that there were no fresh burgers in town. Hmm? I almost cry. It's OK. You did good, huh? I'm proud of you. I walked directly across the street and ordered one. So that's the lamb burger. Nice to see you. Coming to a restaurant like this, would you expect your burgers to be fresh or frozen? Fresh. Burgers come in frozen and we thaw them out. That's the story. Thank you. So that is a lamb burger. Fresh. I'm getting sick to death of this denial, denial, denial. You've been making that bullshit oh, all fucking day. Yes, yes, you, yes, you have. No. All your staff have the same thing to say. Passive aggressive, condescending, inappropriate, and stubborn. No, absolutely not. The staff, the way you treat them. What? There yeah, you go no, again. Yeah. Denial, oh, denial, no, denial. No, no, no. You're just scared about employing a team that's going to tell you the truth. That is bullshit. That is not Because you don't like them confronting no. you with the truth. Yes, sir. You'll fire them. No, I haven't fired then, anybody. I heard that you fired your son. Oh, shit. You don't even know the fucking story. He was having some issues, Gordon, and I told I him... I was aware of the he, alcohol problem. He, I was aware right, of that. Right. I was trying to save his life. Yeah. My brother's a drug addict. We put him in rehab seven times, unsuccessfully. Mm -hmm. I don't give up on him. But what I'm more concerned about is that nothing's affecting you. It's like we're doing great. And, and generally, the place runs quite well. Yeah. Oh, my God. Come with me. Just yeah, you and I. Is this a joke for you? Can you no. give us two minutes, please? No. Is this, are you fucking around? No, I'm not fucking around. Are you trying to pull the wool out of my eyes? Oh, hell no. You know the business is dwindling. So you've got all these rules, no fucking samples, no fucking kids. This place is thriving with families. We really don't want to have crying kids here. I just, I just would like to have a uh, quiet getaway for, for our honeymooners and, and uh, birthdays and anniversaries. A honeymoon venture that come down to a romantic dinner and eat a frozen burger? Come on. This place is hemorrhaging money because you're caught in a web. Delusional, stubborn, old-fashioned, and fucking pompous. Anything else? It's just a joke for you, isn't it? No, I'm just, next time I'm going to know to do a little dusting. Wow, a little dusting. Fuck me, how deluded. During dinner service, I decided to do some investigating in the rooms. Dreadful, dreadful, dreadful. And after what I found, I gathered the hotel guests along with Afni and Brent. Hey, guys, come through, please. Um, 
just very quickly. Glasses on. There we are. Come through. If you can just stand over here. Pillow left hand side. Pillow number one. Mm. Can you see that? I can't see a darn thing. You can't see. Maybe Aphne. Yeah. Explain to Brent what this is. Uh, spot. No. It's... Spot. You yeah. don't know. Yeah, spot. Maybe this one will be a little bit clearer. Blood. There we go, hon. Well, that's disgusting. Right. Aphne. Yes? Brent can't see anything. I, 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 uh, go ahead, where? I, well, I see that, of course. OK. I see that one, yeah. This is the worrying bit. Mm -hmm. These are the duvets that have been on these beds. That was just washed Absolute. one week ago. Absolute. Every single one of them. Absolute rubbish. And look at this. I mean, these customers, the, they're the ones you're taking the money from. Don't you dare tell me that was washed a week ago. Don't you dare. One week ago, I have Stop. the bills. We you have cannot be serious. We are serious. It was done, and that's that's it. We're not going to say that. I got the Right, I but got... that is not clean. Oh, that's bullshit. Clean. It was yeah, just it's done. Yeah, it's bullshit. And this, go on. Oh. I see that, but one week ago that was cleaned. I'm done with this bullshit. So this is from years. Just stop. It was we did 13 of them one lying. week ago, and they're not cleaning them properly. Stop just for once today. Fucking lying. And look at this. I mean, that is not clean. That was just washed one week ago. Stop just for once today. Lying. Let's just stay there two seconds. Did you have any idea you're sleeping in that? No, not at all. <laughs> I wish you can't I see that. I don't want to sleep in that. Brent? I, I, I see that. I want an explanation, because all you've done since I've arrived here is lied to me. Lied to me, lied to your staff, and I am not going to allow you to lie to the customers. And I totally fucking disagree with that too. I have not said one lie to you. Yes, I'm you not going to go for have. that. Yes, you have. No, I. You've been that is lying to me all day. It's not true. You convinced that thought food is fresh food. You're robbing them of their cash. You're telling me this was cleaned a week ago. Let me ask you a question in front of your customers. Would you sleep on that? No. So why do you expect them to? Would you sleep on that? No. Not an apology, nothing. I'd like to apologize. I'm, I'm, I'm appalled. I'm disgusted. I've had enough. Anything you'd like to say? The pillow's like this. I apologize. Can I have a word with him on my own? Would you mind? These guests are hours away from putting their heads on your pillows. Blood-stained pillows semen-stained duvet covers, and sweat accumulated over years. I, I can see that, Gordon. I am struggling. I'm struggling with your husband that's in denial. I'm struggling with his arrogance, and I'm struggling with these blatant lies. I'm not here to butt heads with a liar. I'm here to help turn this business around. <sighs> Aphne, you can talk to me. Are you worried about Brent? He's my husband. Yes, I am. It's my life. We have a daughter together. Does your daughter feel this at home? Yeah. And he fell out with his son. He fired his son. Yeah. Does that still bother him? Is that what it is? He's still his son. Of course he's still his son. I still care about him. It doesn't sound like he's caring about him. The guy was drinking. He needed help. And he got rid of him. Is that what's bothering him? Is that why he's in denial? I need Brent to take his guard down. Something inside here is bothering him. I don't know if it's the financial debt, the pressure. Is it his son? I don't know. I can't get in. I want to talk to his son. How can I get hold of him? I got his number. Thank you. Aphne, you're the only hope I've got. Can we work together? Yeah. And can we get him to yeah. open up? Okay. And tomorrow morning, 
and I want the truth and nothing but the truth. Okay. I really needed to break through to Brent and to see why he is so stubborn. So my team and I attempted to get hold of his son to meet me at the hotel, but we were unsuccessful. Now it's up to me to try to get through to Brent. Let's take a seat at the bar. I've got to get through to you. Why are you so stubborn? You got fucked off last night, I mentioned your son. Mm -hmm. Why did that hit a nerve? You know, we, we just had a, a, a breakdown in the relationship when his, when his mom remarried. Yeah. Uh, they, she remarried the same day, the divorce was final. So, parted company with your son. Mm -hmm. You weren't even present at your daughter's wedding. I was not invited. I didn't even know she got married. I was destroyed. Everybody wants to see their daughter. Mm -hmm. I've, got, I've got three daughters. That's painful. You know, when, you're, when your uh, kids tell you... I don't know, Gordon. Tell you what? Well, uh, <clears throat> I have three grandkids. I haven't even seen two of them. You know what? You know, I am stubborn. Maybe I am stubborn, but when you get shut off, and then their mom died. I thought, wow, maybe this is going to be my chance. Maybe they're going to come to me. But my but you can't. My son it. just drinks too goddamn much. I, I, but I, but that, but they, you're still their father. You're still their dad. I know it. You can't go around with that, 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 mm -hmm. that, that anger. I, I, I've been waiting for them to come to me. It's instead instead of the other. That's never yeah. going to happen. Yeah. It's not well, that's, time. that's my proudness and my stubbornness, yeah. I, you know? Mm -hmm. You have to change your ways and you have to start becoming a lot more generous as an owner, as a father responsible for three kids. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm not here to fix your family. I'd love you to. I would so fucking love you to. And just you calling them, making an effort, they need to see the change. But you need to embrace that. Yeah. I agree. There's too much at stake. Reach out those kids you got to bring those barriers down and you got to open up and somewhere in there there's the friendly comforting supportive you know astute Brent we've got to get back there okay. Brent and Anthony's bad reputation within the town comes as no surprise you got a picture there mm -hmm. yeah. great give me two minutes please okay I've gathered local business owners to show Brent and Anthony the issues they don't realize they have Good morning. Good morning. How are we? Good, good. First of all, I just want to say a big thank you for coming. You guys are the pillars of the community. You have businesses and you are very proud of what you've built here. And I've been struggling, trying to get through to Brent. He's in denial. I feel like Brent is an undertaker. Those people that are working for him, there aren't many yes. that have very good things to say. Wow. That's ridiculous. I had a friend that used to work here at BC's, and she had a customer that had a steak dinner and her baked potato, it was all great. And he wanted to take it with him, so she took it in the back and set it on the counter and went to get it to go container. And Afni sc scraped it into the garbage. She said, well, uh, my customer kind of wanted to take that, and she watched Afni grab the baked potato, oh. wipe it off, no. and grab the steak. Out the trash. And she made her give that to the customer. No. Oh. Wow. No free samples on the ice cream. How hard is it to give somebody a little plastic spoon? Wow. <laughs> what do they give back to the town? They are absolutely no part of this community. They have, they have built walls around themselves, and you need to take care of each other in the off season. It's locals taking care of locals. Yeah. You know, I will That's say with the fires, say. you know, this whole town came together and I don't think I can remember them offering help in any way. It was a crisis that everybody found a need and everybody helped. Yeah, except them. Except them. But that's the spirit of Chelan, I think, is what we're getting at. We share tractors, we share, you know, from vineyard work to some of us have restaurants, so we share employees. He's oblivious. How come there's no wine? 
from this amazing region <laughs> on their list. When we first started our winery, his excuse was that the wineries have restaurants that compete with his restaurant. In addition to that, it, it would be a shame if there was just one good place in town to go to. We want tourists to come here and have a great time everywhere they go. So if, if he does well, we'll all do well. I really appreciate the feedback, but I want you to help me get through them on another level now because I'm going to go and get them. And we're going to tackle this head on. Uh, give me two minutes. Thank you so much. You want to go? It's really, really hard to take it. Let's go. Because we try really hard. It just shocked me. Wow. Hi. Hi, Hi folks. Morning. These are, in my mind, even more important than customers because you guys should be bonded. Clearly, you're not. Why is it taking so long? Sometimes you need somebody to slap your face. We were in a comfort zone yeah. somewhat and uh, used to the way we did everything, uh, you, you know, for a lot of years, and uh, it needs to be changed. Maybe, maybe we banked on the location too much. There's a lot of things we've done wrong. They're desperate to see you do well. Anything to say? There can never be too many fun, good places in town. We always want somewhere to go and relax and enjoy ourselves. I think we all want you back on our radar. All of this has been a wake-up call for us. This is part of the reason why we asked Chef Ramsey to come to help us. We're listening. We, we heard everything that you had to say. And we are going to try to do much, much better. We're hearing you. I don't think that I knew how the business community was connected, that everybody is feeding off of each other. We have to realize that to be part of this connection, we have to change. With Brent and Anthony committing to change, my team moved forward, getting rid of all the dust and cobwebs. We furnished all the rooms with brand new bedding, but the biggest change was overhauling the ice cream parlor. Off we go. Ladies, welcome. <gasps> my God! Holy moly! Wow, unbelievable. Unbelievable. This is what I call a parlor. You had a dreadful space yeah. here. Previously. Yes, oh my God. Now, it's turned into something magical. Do you think there's any chance that I could get a sample? <laughs> we will be throwing samples out everywhere. This is way beyond our expectation. Given the importance of the local wineries, I brought in Samilia Dave Foss. How are you? Who repaired the bad reputations with the locals that Brent and Afni had. You're gonna need to nurture those relationships. And he created a brand new menu featuring all Washington wine. You're no longer gonna have to say, sorry, I don't have any local wines. Finally, to accompany all this, I created a smaller, more exciting menu that features all fresh food. Dig in, have a little taste. Oh my God, this is so good. It's delicious. Oh my God. Mm. Everything fresh, better. Mm. Fantastic. What I have learned from this community is that local support is everything, and this town is willing to give Brent and Afni a second chance. Hi, everybody. How are you today? Good to see you guys. Would you like to see my new ice cream parlor here? With all the new improvements, I'm hoping Brent and Afni make a good impression for the people of Chelan. I actually brought you a list of a lot of the purveyors that we work with. Cool. Oh, you want to check in? How are you guys? The hotel is booked up. This is just gorgeous. And the guests will sleep well tonight in the brand new bedding we've added to all the rooms. <laughs> all right. I'm gonna try the feral salad. There's a real buzz about the new menu. Order up. And the kitchen is easily executing the dishes. A quiche, a chicken sandwich, and I got the salmon. Okay. What we're trying to do is just focus on the local wineries. With the help of Samilia Dave Foss, the customers are pleased with the local selection of wines they're offering at BC McDonald's. You like that? It's really good. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> I'm always making a mess. That's the idea. I'm the official scooper. The ice cream shop is a hit, and Brent is even happy giving away samples. If you drop it on the floor, you own it. Brent. With everything a success, I'm hoping Brent makes one important rule change with his hotel. 
Have you thought about what I mentioned about the children regarding children in the hotel, or are you still sticking with no children? You know what? I'm going to stick to the adults only. Adults only? Why? Well, look, at if you take two or three or four children up there, and I'm going to tell you, they wipe out the whole damn place. What, the noise? Noise, crying, whatever, uh, gum, and, uh, pop, and God forbid, uh, samples of ice cream. They will you talk. have a young daughter. I know. I'm talking three, four, eight-year-old. Have you asked yourself the consequences you know, of my I'm missing on turnover? Revenue. Yeah. We may miss a few, but I think we miss a few on the other end if there were two or three kids running down the hall. But not every, yeah. every kid is, is, is that noisy. I mean, just try to be open with maybe a couple of rooms. I will give it thought. That's a tough one. I'm disappointed Brent won't alter his rules about allowing kids at the hotel. But hopefully, after seeing the success of the relaunch, he'll change his mind. Keep up the good work, yes? Ryan, do not let him go back. Absolutely not. OK. No. Well done. Yep. Thank you. Are you leaving? Yes, I am. Everybody now in this town is rallying around for your success. Mm. Yes. So embrace it. Watching you stand behind mm -hmm. that counter, just giving samples out and seeing the delight on the kid's face, that is extraordinary. That's awesome. Please don't go back. Stay strong. We will. Oh. There's an amazing guy underneath all those layers. There is? Yes, there is. Yeah, I'm just... There is. Thank you. There is. You can do this, OK? I can do it. Yeah? yeah. Take care. Thank you so much. All right. Look out. OK. Thank you so much. And he's going to think about getting yeah. some kids in here. OK. OK. Yeah. We're, we're working bad. on it. I'm serious. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Stubborn. OK. okay. A couple of scoops of ice cream goes a long way. Ooh, boy, it's really gone down, hasn't it? Getting money. <laughs> okay, thank you. Take okay. care. Good night. Okay, bye bye. Despite my help with the outreach of the community, Brent quickly reverted back to his old ways, distancing himself from the locals. Much of the staff have left or been fired and the hotel's reputation within the town has only gotten worse. Fuck. I don't know. I don't know where in the hell everybody's at. I'm checking into a very unusual location, a castle in the middle of Ohio, run by a mother and son. You know, you get a little overwhelmed and you don't know how to proceed. She takes on all the responsibility have you ever told anyone how much stress is on your shoulders? No, I pretty much keep it in. And he doesn't know how to help. I can't tell you business-wise that Jimmy really has any strengths at this point. If I can't get through to him, this hotel will be in serious jeopardy. Surely you must know that this is not right. No, it isn't. Located along the Black Fork of the Mohican River is the small town of Loudonville, home to Landol's Mohican Castle. After selling their profitable printing business, owners Jim and Marta Landol built the castle on a lush 1,100-acre estate in the heart of rural Ohio. Jim and I ran a coloring book publishing business. We did sell it. I assumed we would retire, uh, but Jim had other ideas. <laughs> My dad told himself that if he ever made any kind of money someday, he would build a castle. And he made money and built a castle. Between the castle and restaurant, the official total was in the $6 million range. In uh, 2008, our beautiful restaurant burned to the ground. My husband, he had let the insurance lapse. Unfortunately, it was only four days prior. It was a very, really bad day. We burned down in May, and Jim and I separated in June. We were divorced within the year. Jim retired, and now it's all on my shoulders. Marta does everything here. She works, oh my gosh, harder than anybody, I think, on the property. She runs around like crazy. There's not a day that she's not working from sunup until sundown. She could be retired. She could be relaxing somewhere, enjoying her grandkids. But instead, it's almost like she's a prisoner here. So 
I think that we really need Jimmy to manage the property. Jimmy's the general manager in title only. He's more the cook here on the property. It says two uh, or one tablespoon of Worcestershire or whatever you call it. We don't really honestly take him seriously, but we've never had a reason to, I guess, take him seriously. Are we supposed to clean up now? Because he's the baby born with a silver spoon in his mouth, that everybody's always done everything for him. What is honey glazed carrots? I've actually never made those. Marta does baby Jimmy, and that causes Jimmy to not really have to step up and be a general manager. We keep thinking, what, what can we do? What can we do to get more, you know, more customers in the restaurant? What can we do to get more people at the hotel? It has such potential. One of my main concerns is that I do want to be able to uh, make this place successful and be able to um, retire, but it is a struggle, you know, because a lot of times I don't see a lot of light at the end of the tunnel. I'm here in Ohio. I'm heading to a castle. That's right, a castle. But it's actually built by a local businessman. He's no longer involved, and he's left the property to his ex-wife and his son to run. Here we are, castle up ahead. Look at that. Wow, the grounds are stunning. OMG. Look at this place. What an amazing setting. Really beautiful. Hello. Hello. My goodness me. <laughs> Gordon, yes. nice to see you. So nice to meet you. Um, this place is incredible. Uh, when was it built? They started construction in 1996. We opened in 2002. Wow, how long have you been here? I've been here for 10 years. And all this sort of junk, what happens to that stuff? This is our little gift shop. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, so this is a gift shop. Bits of sort of knickknacks There's and little, just... yeah, odd. <laughs> no? But they seem odd. What about these? <laughs> I haven't sold any of the reading sunglasses. And what's that? That is the CD we have in our rooms. The CD, well, yes, the Celtic we have, Mystique. Mm -hmm. We have music playing in our suites when you arrive. Wow, um, I didn't know people buy CDs anymore. <laughs> wow, 16, is it good? I've listened to it for 10 years. I don't hear it anymore most of the time. What a strange little knickknack shop. And what's over here? Um, all the beer and wine that we sell. Wow, well, you can see the dust on top of there. Everything's so dusty. Who's in charge of cleaning? I'm slacking on my job. I appreciate the odd uh, speckle of dust on the wine, the wine cellar, but not, not like this. Wow, and look at that. When is that from? 1980 <laughs> what? You laugh, but it is a little out of date, right? Oh, yeah, definitely out of date <sighs> and dusty. Dusty? The actual TV was on. You couldn't see it because of the dust. Um, so it looks like it was high-end to build, really expensive. But yes. It doesn't look like we've had enough money going back into it to keep it sort of... Where, how it, where yeah, it needs to be. Where it needs yeah, to how be. it should be. Right. And what's over here? Um, oh, one of the wedding. weddings we had on the property. This place must be packed. They do 30 to 50 a year. Who runs those? Melody is our events coordinator. And she's a specialist in events and... Um, she was never, like, trained or anything, but How she does... How can you run events if you're not being trained? Common sense sometimes prevails. Mm. Now, what's that there? Landell's Mohegan Castle, win a night stay. Mm -hmm. Stop. You know how many people want a free night? Seriously? Seriously? Yeah. We try to do it once a month. Shall I do one? Yes, please. Love this. Love it. <laughs> Ready? So... All right. That's fantastic. Um, <laughs> is there a cell number on there? Um, thank you. Answer machine. Chuck, congratulations. You have won yourself a free night stay at Landol's Mohican Castle, courtesy of me, Gordon Ramsay. Free dinner? Dinner's not included, no. Oh, Chuck, I'm so sorry. I don't want to piss on your bonfire, but there's no dinner involved but I'll pay for dinner, Chuck. Best wishes. He's going to be so happy when he hears that fucking he message. <laughs> yes, there we he go. Is. He's going to be floored. Excellent. Uh, amazing, man. It's cluttered and it's dusty. Damn. So you've been here 10 years. What are the problems? Just little things here and there that need to be updated. Most of it's still from when we opened originally, so okay. 13 years old. Now, the owner is no longer involved with the business. He's left it to his ex-wife. Marta, Jim's ex-wife. Mm -hmm. Right. She runs it now with her son, who's the general manager. Correct. Right. And what's his strengths? Um, 
I can't tell you business-wise, management-wise, if Jimmy really, in my opinion, has any strengths right. at this point. He has the title of general manager, but I don't think he really fully right. has that role of general manager yet. And he went off to train at hotel school. Where did he come from? No. Jimmy has no training outside of high school. Marta, does she? No. She has no training, he has no training. Who's more hands-on? Marta is hands-on. Marta is here, there, and everywhere, and she, wow. she's like the busy bee that never stops. Is she around? Um, I'm sure she's on the property, let me. Thank you. Um, I'm, uh, I'm going to just check around outside, and I look forward sure. to uh, seeing Marta. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, is Marta down there? Wow, this place costs a fortune. What is up here? OK, can you send her up? Gordon would like to meet her. Look at that. Wow. What in the fuck is that over there? Is that a T-Rex? What is that thing? Yeah. Ugh. Look at all these flies. Bloody hell. Look at that. So you relax and take your cigarette breaks. Oh, Jesus Christ. Look at all these flies. That is disgusting. This is a place where people come to relax. What? Man, that's gross. Seriously. Ugh. Horrible. Wow. Hello. Hello. You must be Marta. I'm Marta. You must be Gordon. That's right. <laughs> nice to see you. You good? You too. Uh, what an incredible place. Oh, thank you. It's different. It looks like somebody spent a lot of money. Yeah, we did. Um, how much did you spend building this place? I think it's around six billion. Wow. And what's it worth now? Oh, probably two. Two million. Um, we need help, Gordon. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, I, I'm here to help. I mean, driveway, yeah. woodland, stunning. I mean, yeah. absolutely stunning. Thank you. you. Walk in there, inside it's it's caked in dust in there. <laughs> it's not dust supposed in... to be. Oh, it, 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 is, it is, trust me. Okay. And well. then the Hamasa horror for me was going up there. Have you been up there recently? Uh, probably about a month ago. Disgusting. <laughs> Okay, Flies sorry. everywhere. Not a dozen, a couple of hundred. Okay. Thousands. And let me give it to you straight. It looks like staff are taking the piss, going upstairs for a break, putting their cigarettes they, in a bottle. On the back of one really bad fire, the last thing you want to get is a no. second one. That's true. So you're the general manager. I am running it, and I'm trying... But Jimmy started a little over a year ago. Right. But he's so tied with the restaurant. So Jimmy runs the kitchen, and you do everything else. So that's a lot on your plate. Oh, I help in the kitchen, too. <laughs> I do Seriously? the ordering. I do the ordering. <laughs> How come he doesn't do his own ordering? Oh, he would if I told him to. Right. Yeah. But everything on your shoulders, running this place. Yeah, I guess I'm used to it. <laughs> yeah, wow. So um, I've never done anything like this before, so it's unfound territory for me. Okay. In order for me to see where the cracks are, what this place is made of, how good we are, mm -hmm. I've found an amazing couple that have recently just got engaged, uh, and due to the circumstances with the groom, he's having to go off and do military duty in two weeks' time. Oh, OK. So they are coming here, and we are going to host their wedding. OK, when are we doing it? In a couple of days. OK. And it's a very important... How many important people? 100 guests. 100 guests, OK. 100 guests. So okay. I need to see how this place functions and what you've got, what the standards are like, and okay. just the kind of offerings. OK. Look at it. It should have way more than 30 or 40 events a year. It doesn't make sense. Knowing the castle is losing money by not hosting as many weddings as they should be, I wanted to see how I could improve their standards and increase revenue. Roxanne? Hey. Yeah. Good nice to, to meet you. Likewise. Hi, oh, good to see you, Eric. How are you? Okay. So, I invited a bride and groom to get married at the castle. First of all, let me say congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you. I know you're trying to get married quickly because you're uh, off yeah. Uh, yeah. on duty, and so we want to make this uh, somewhat special. Yeah. We're doing this once and there's no rehearsal, right? Right. Let's jump in, shall we? Okay, Come in, perfect. Please. It's my first time here. Ours too. There we go. Oh, dear. It looks like someone's puked on the walls uh, with a lemon meringue pie. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Look at the ceiling. Yeah, the ceiling <laughs> what is, is that? really scary. Chairs? Oh, dear. Those are really stained what bad. Is that? <laughs> what is that? Spandex? Yeah. They're, they're not nice, are they? Oh, no. Ooh, dear. That's worse. Oh, dear, oh, dear. <laughs> I'm Melody. Hi, Roxanne. Roxanne. Roxanne? Yeah. Yes. Nice to meet you. Eric. Welcome to the castle. 
Um, let's talk about the food. Um, what do you normally do? Normally we do buffets. Buffets? Mm -hmm. Wow, that's something from the 1980s. So what do we do with the tasting of the buffet? We don't do tastings. You don't do no, tastings? we don't do tastings. No, why not? Because of the kitchen staff, the setup in the kitchen. Not really selling me on a good wedding, so you can <laughs> stay relaxed no, for now, but no. trust me, we're going to taste some food. <laughs> we're going to take a seat, we're going to do mm -hmm. some tastings, and yep. I'd like to see a menu. Um, don't worry, OK? Get this sorted. Okay. You go there, my darling, okay. please. Probably Thank got you. too many set here. Take a seat, please. Before we do the tasting, is the owner's son here? Jimmy, yes. he's, the, mm -hmm. he's in Jimmy's charge. Mm -hmm. Can we have a quick chat? Yeah, sure, thing. Yeah? Uh, colour's dreadful. Reception lobby, awful. And the linens don't even match. There's white and ivory. There's a lot going on at the, on the bar, yeah, too. I'm not sure if that's left yeah. over from another wedding. Dreadful. Jimmy? Yeah? Uh, Chef, he'd like to meet you. OK. Hi. You are Jimmy. I'm Jimmy. Good to see you. Nice to meet you. I spoke to Mum earlier. You yes, are. Let me yes. To uh, two very special Hi. guests, Roxanne. Hi there. Nice Hi. to meet you, nice Roxanne. To meet you. And Eric. 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 Nice to meet you as well. Um, so, do you have a chef jacket or? I do. Do you ever wear it or? Um, when only when I deliver food. Deliver. Well, like well. bring food out to people. Oh, so you just put the jacket on to carry food. Yeah, so I look fancier. So <laughs> you normally wear a t-shirt to cook. Yeah, and pants. And pants? Oh. Yes. That, that's very kind of you. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Anything you recommend? I mean, try to sell it a little bit to the bride and groom. Um, there's certain things on there I've never made before. So, uh, that probably... Stop doesn't... two seconds. Yes. <laughs> you've got things on your menu that you've never made before. Well, no one's ever ordered them. But you run a restaurant here. Yes. That's not a buffet. No. You, that's I should, plated. I should definitely know how to make them, I agree. Yeah. I've never cooked a filet mignon before. You've never cooked a filet mignon? No. Who cooks it? We've never sold one. Fucking hell. So no one's ever had a wedding and ordered filet? N not since I've been here, not for me. You've got things on here that you've never cooked before. You've yes. never cooked a filet. Correct. So just out of interest, filet mignon comes on. Are you going to go to a culinary school? What happens? Maybe Google how to do it exactly. Google? Uh, yes. I mean, I could yeah, do no, that. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, jeez. Google a filet? Yeah. Just what, to, to watch a, a video? Uh, yes. Our wedding food is really good. Well, I can't wait to taste it. Uh, let's have a look at this and okay. you know, I'll Perfect. see you uh, later. Sounds good. Wow, OK, well, sorry about that. After learning Jimmy gets his recipes from the internet, I'm starting to feel like I made a mistake inviting the bride and groom to have their wedding here. So we have a stuffed chicken. To give some options for Roxanne and Eric, I told Jimmy to prepare a selection of dishes. Up first, a chicken dish that I couldn't believe was smothered in soggy cheese. Look at that bit there. It's like my granddad's foreskin. <laughs> Not good. No wonder grandma used to get upset at night. OK, over medium heat, add olive oil, let it get hot. While Jimmy surfed the internet for how to cook a filet mignon. Let the filets... Let the filets eat a hot pan. We were served a salmon dish. I mean, I wouldn't feed that to my cat. It is bland. It's undercooked. Mm -hmm. it's simply it's raw a in the middle. It's slimy almost. Yeah. And knowing Jimmy had never cooked a filet mignon, trust me, my expectations weren't high. That steak is terrible. That's overcooked. You'd cook better than that at home, wouldn't you? Yeah. Now I know why there's no tastings available. I mean, yeah. terrible. Yeah, terrible, yeah. terrible, terrible. I'm embarrassed and I just want to apologise. I was expecting it way better than this. Yeah, I mean, us too, I think. Yeah. Be patient. Let me get to the bottom of this, OK? OK. <laughs> it's clear the castle standards are low. Okay. And with only two days to put together a wedding, I'm feeling a lot of pressure and I don't want to disappoint Roxanne and Eric. Hi. Hello. Hello. How are you? You well? Good. How are you guys feeling? Discouraged. I mean, you know, it's an important day for us. And the food's really important. And it's like, I think about this, and I want it to be the best day of my life. And then it's disappointing. It's something you want people to remember for a good reason, not a bad. No, of yeah, course. Yeah, exactly. So. You know, I see lots of young couples, and we host lots of weddings. but. It's new territory for me. I've never seen a space member of staff so disconnected to the real deal. I don't think we thought it was going to be like this. There's only two days till Roxanne and Eric's wedding. And having witnessed the lack of attention to the event space and menu, tonight, I need to see how Martha and Jimmy run their restaurant on a regular night. Hey, how are you? 
TJ. TJ, good to see you. And this is... I'm Shayla. Shayla, nice to see you. I'm Jimmy's wife. Oh, Jimmy's wife. Yes. Okay, chef's wife. Cook's wife, general manager's wife. Yes. Right. What is he, a DM or a cook? A little bit of both. A little bit of both? Yes. Excellent. Good answer. Okay. Good. What do you do, TJ? I'm just the host tonight. Excellent. So... 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 I'm all fucked up. Jimmy, the sea bass. What about it? It needs to go on. It's just I, with this, with this okay, order. I don't. Uh, good evening. Good evening. Hey, Gordon. Howdy. She has a bruschetta listed here, too. Six months on that. We haven't met yet, have we? No. No, Grant. Grant, good to see you. Are you the sous chef? Yes. Mm. And are you working in the kitchen tonight as well? Yeah, I sort of help them. Wow. What don't you do in this establishment? <laughs> Nothing. Uh, yeah, I can't think of anything. Ah. Mm. Holy crap. So you cook all the fish and meat on the same thing? Uh, we do the meat on the left side and the fish on the right side. It's all on the same plan? Yes. So you're saying that everything on the left doesn't hit the right and everything on the right doesn't hit the left? I've never seen that. OK. It's weird the food sits there. Shayla. Yes, sir. Why do they put food here? Is this what they... This is the warmers, yes, this is the... Only... On the wall? Yes. <laughs> yes, this is what we have. It's crazy. Jesus. But where's... the kitchen's in there, they just stick this on the wall. So how do you know whose is whose? You just pick up. We take the wrong plates all the time. What a fucked up scenario that is. What is this? Is this done? I think so. I don't have any idea what all this meat goes to right now. What are these two flat irons for? Does anybody know? Uh, here's a flat iron. Medium rare. There's a flat iron. But I don't know what tables they go to. Jesus. Fuck me. Um, I've never said that is a beef stroganoff. What's that? But just, just show me that one. Oh, a beef stroganoff. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Bring it down, please. Yes. That's how I was taught to make it. I mean, it looks like prison food. Whose table is that stroganoff? That's mine. That's yours. And what are you waiting for now? Um, the rest. That was uh, on a single ticket, but there are six of them. Seriously? Why is it not on the same ticket? Well, because they wanted separate bills, so I just I wrote them all on separate tickets, because that's how we... But you do that at the end. The kitchen needs one ticket so they can serve all the entrees together. Go. Oh, my god. OMG. <laughs> what are you waiting for, my darling? Um, what are those for? I off. So where are we at here? One French fry. OK, do we have anything on the six top? What's she waiting on? Stroganoff, I guess. And this doesn't really have any sauce in it, but I can't, can't help it that it got messed up. Just take it. Uh, you just deserve better. I'm sorry. Oh, here's your stroganoff. Ten minutes later. There we go. Your plate's hot, too, so be careful. Yours looks completely different. Wow, what a mess. What a mess. Oh, jeez. Jimmy, that's been sat there 15 minutes now, this one. Which has? This one here. What is it? Yeah, oh, what are you waiting on? I've just, I've never seen this kind of dysfunctional kitchen, so one dish, three minutes later, another dish comes along, and the girls are coming up and seeing the flat iron, seeing the chicken, and just going, because there's no uniform. The table's been waiting. Where's your tickets? Right there. OK. Just take this medium rare flat iron, then, I guess. We apparently need another castle. Did we make that or not? Someone must have taken the ticket down without us knowing. It was supposed to be medium, and the other lady, her potatoes, garlic mash, were ice cold. Oh, gosh. They want it more well done. She uh, want, They want it more well done. The same piece or another one? No, we'll have to put it back on. I don't... Okay. I've gathered that the restaurant has absolutely no organisation, but what is more alarming is how dependent Jimmy is on his mother to run this business. We did it. That was easy. <laughs> uh, I I'm not going to laugh. Let's just go back to the beginning. Driving in and looking at the place, breathtaking. Walking to the reception, and it's just caked in dust. And that tower in front of the entrance is laden with 5,000 dead flies. Tonight, I just want to see how this place functioned. And hand on heart, I've never seen such a dysfunctional business in all my life. Surely you must know that this is not right. 
I, I think we know that, yeah. but you I just, think. I'm. I speak for myself, and I can say I know that. And yet, everybody walks around as if we're doing a great job and laughing and joking, as if to say we got something to be proud of. I wouldn't say we're in denial. No bullshit. I got told when I checked in, Jimmy is the general manager. Can I just tell you the feeling when you walk into this place? There's no authority. There's no responsibility, and staff are just going through the motions. And if you are even going to attempt to step up to that position. You can't go home, pat yourself on the back, saying you're doing a great job. You need to start implementing. Gordon, we would like this to be the starting point of that. You know, we want that. We just, you know, you get a little overwhelmed and you don't know, you know, how to proceed. The, the general consensus in this building is that you are generally running around seven days a week for everybody. That's true. And tonight, I witnessed it firsthand. This is no life for any lady in the 60s. No, it isn't. Banging their head against the wall. That is not right. Can I just have two minutes with your mother on my own, please? Yes. This is insane. Honestly, you look like the pot washer's assistant tonight. I know. Sometimes not I right. am the pot no, washer's just... assistant. Seriously? Yeah. I think hard. I've gotten so used to it. And so I just keep doing it. I know, but you're doing more and more every week, every month, every year, and it's not right. And that must be having a toll somewhere. You can't continue like this. I agree. Has your son taken enough responsibility? I think that it, uh, he probably feels that he has because he's never probably had the life that I've had to know what it's like to work from morning to night. He's never felt the jeopardy that you do on a daily basis. No. Nowhere near it. No one has. And it shows he knows you're going to do it, and that's the problem. And he's got so used to that mm -hmm. that he's not going to come out of his comfort zone and do any more because he doesn't need to. No. I want Jimmy to wake up and take the burden off your shoulders and step up and start showing some form of responsibility. You should think about a letter about what you need from him going forward, think about something strong and speak openly. And if you can commit that to me, then I'm going to commit myself to you and get in this place okay. back on the map. OK? Yeah. Promise? I promise. Thank you. OK. Get some rest. OK. OK. It's very important for hotels that host weddings to not only focus on the event itself, but other services as well. Front desk. I'd like to order this $79 breakfast in bed package. So I ordered a room service package for Roxanne and Eric. Enjoy. You guys Thank you so enjoy. Much. We you. will see you soon. All right. <clears throat> Thought I'd check in on you. How is it? It tastes uncooked. Oh, God, it's just going from bad to worse. My apologies. After seeing their disappointment and that nothing was special about the experience, I sent someone from my team to put together a gift basket to show how much higher their standards really need to be. This is just basic stuff. You two dig in. We've got some work to do. Last night, I asked Marta to write a letter to Jimmy outlining her needs for him moving forward. I'm hoping this can show Jimmy he needs to step up. You OK? Yeah. Um, how long did it take to put this thing together? Probably uh, an hour, hour and a half to think about it. That's I went to sleep around 5 AM. What? You went to sleep at 5 AM? Why? Uh. Just thinking about everything that went on and wishing it wouldn't have been the way it was. And knowing there's a lot to fix and just being uh, completely uh, overwhelmed at all the aspects of it, so. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of nights like that. <laughs> that's exactly what he needs to hear, and that's what we've got left in order to get through to him. That's where he needs to feel your pain a little bit because you've been too good masking over it. Yeah. I, yeah, I do probably do that a lot. 
is you need to stop accepting everything and make things better for yourself now. And that being so easy on your son and, and being a little bit more selfish because you're too kind, too generous. Right, I agree with that. You need a break. Yeah. Quick. Yeah, you're right. Okay, thank you. Uh, Jimmy, two seconds, please. Take a seat. Your mother, she left last night. Yes. Upset. I want you to listen to something okay. important. Yes. I just want you to listen, OK? Um, dear Jimmy, I worked 20 years at the coloring book factory, being on call 24-7. I, of course, thought that when we sold the business, we would retire. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. I know you have always seen me work hard, but the financial part of it has been just as stressful. It is so disheartening when we could get complaints about such stupid things as dust and uncleanliness. It has to stop. There's no excuse for it. It has to change. No one has more to gain by making the castle successful than you do. Let's make this place what it should be, a great future for all of us. Love, Mom. I just want to say thank you. I know. I know. I love you so. <laughs> you know this can't continue. And where I'm coming from, it's about stepping up. That means putting mum out of the day-to-day -day running and you getting firm, strong, and making some serious fucking decisions. I don't want you to have the impression that I'm, I'm too proud or I'm a spoiled brat. But I, how much do you want this? I, I, I don't know if there's a real wor word for it, but I want it. I want, I mean. Can I just have two minutes with him? Yes. Please. In the kitchen, get yourself a coffee and close that door. I don't fucking feel it enough. That's all. I don't get uh, excited by it. She, your mother, mm -hmm. hasn't got long left I at know. this pace. And if you've got a pair of balls, mm -hmm. you better start fucking using them. And I want you to use them quick. I don't think you fully understand just what a gift you've got. I don't think I do either. I, th I feel it, but I don't fully have a grip of it. No. And whilst I am here, I want to see you commit OK. And show me how hungry you are. I will. Yes, sir. And when you see something wrong... Say something. ...fucking sort it out, like your mum's been doing. I will. Got it? Got it. It's the day before the wedding, and preparations are underway. Normally, we have a soft drink soda station on the antique hutch down there. While the staff discuss last-minute details with Roxanne and Eric, my team and I are completely making over the event space. We're upgrading the drab interior with a modern decor to brighten up the room and create an inviting space. Are we ready? Can we run? Yes. Well, let's go. <laughs> okay. Brace yourselves. <laughs> yeah. What you're about to see is mind blowing. Jump in. Oh my goodness. Welcome. Oh my, oh my good. Oh my goodness. Come on in. Oh, oh my wow. goodness. Oh, it's oh my beautiful. God. Oh, my God. Now, oh, my God. oh, oh wow. <laughs> where shall we start? Oh, my. Just the lighting alone yes. feels more inviting. It's a different world. Gone is that ghastly yellow color. Oh, it's beautiful, Melody. Oh, beyond what I ever could have imagined. I can't believe it's the same place. That's awesome. Complete new paneling all the way around. <laughs> wow. Absolutely oh, breathtaking. It's beautiful. So let's have a little focus on the tables. Brand new chairs. Oh my goodness. It's amazing. Beautiful. Take a seat. <laughs> now we have proper oh elegant goodness. chairs. Oh, look at the chargers. Aren't they beautiful? Check out the floor. Brand new floor. Oh, yeah. So nice. Look at the space over there now with the bar. So nice. Like, it's like out of a magazine. This is 
what it's like during the day. Can you imagine what it's going to be like oh at night goodness, with right. the candles lit to the <laughs> with table, the lit, yeah. flickering? This is what we've needed. I mean, we oh. we need guidance, and we've just been spinning our tires for so long. Great. And you happy? I'm happy. Good girl. <laughs> I'm happy. glad you're happy. I'm probably the most excited I've been, except maybe when my babies and grandbabies were born. <laughs> I'm literally that excited. Oh That's my, beautiful. it's so beautiful. Thank you so much. Yeah. You're welcome. Thank you. Yes. Now, oh, wow. let's talk food. Yes. Ladies, come and line up here. I'd like to take one of each menus. I've got a plan for the food. Let's focus first on the menu in place for the restaurant. Let's start off at the beginning. French onion soup and a bowl of chili. Oh, wow. We've got the beef stroganoff with wild mushrooms. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Next to that, you've got the chicken Alfredo. I like that. Uh -huh. Let's focus on the big menu for the wedding tonight. Right. The perfect entree is the braised short ribs. Oh, beautiful. Next to that, we've got a local walleye. It's so amazing. Beautifully seared. Oh, look at that. Yes. Oh, yeah. that's beautiful. Yeah. Nothing complicated. Wow. Yes. Everything looks so appetizing, too. Uh, clean. clean. Yes. Clean. Yeah. But there is one thing missing, and that's a chef. So yeah. I've arranged for a unique person <laughs> that has been working with me in Vegas for the last five years. She is incredible, and she's going to be your consultant chef. OK. Let me introduce you to Keisha. Good morning, my darling. Come and stand here, my darling, please. Thank you. Nice Hi to see there. you guys. So, Martha, this young lady knows her stuff. Wow. She's going to help to install somebody on a full-time basis. Okay. But the handover process is going to be part of her responsibility. Are you excited, Grant? Very, very excited. Grant, Yay. work closely with her. Absolutely. Now, remember, tonight, you're going to step up and run this. The burden is now on your shoulders. I'm prepared to take it. Yeah. Morning. Hello. Hello, gorgeous. Come on. Morning, yeah. ladies. How are you? Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. When I check in with Roxanne and Eric to assure them that everything's on track with their wedding. How are you feeling? Very good. Yeah? Yeah. I just want to give the heads up. Room's looking gorgeous. OK, now let's just set them up. I put Jimmy in charge of managing the entire event, from the ceremony to the reception. It's a cool layout. Oh, isn't it pretty here with the sun coming now? Yeah, it is pretty. While the castle has done many events in the past, I'm hoping this wedding not only raises the bar, but puts it on the map as a destinational spot. Jan, how are you? You look great, by the way. Ah, huh? so smart. All good? You look smart as well. Yeah. Where's Eric? Uh, he's already up there. Um, how are we looking? Looks great. So yeah. Everything's beautiful. Quick, here's the bride. The bride's coming, everybody. Wow. She looks gorgeous. As they sit down, let's go into the room yes. and let's just go over everything, get the Perfect. team together, and we'll get our timings absolutely nailed. Welcome, everyone, to this beautiful, glorious day of the union of Roxanne and Eric. So you guys aren't used to doing no. plated service. No. It's no. been buffet after buffet. That's gone. Say goodbye to the 1970s. Welcome to the 21st century. Great. Want some finesse? It's a wedding. It's not a funeral. Yes. So Be fun. happy. We get in the weeds, we get ourselves out. It's not a race, guys. Who's the general manager? Jimmy. 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 Excellent. Who's in charge of the kitchen? Grant. Grant. That's right. Talk, communicate. Any uh, last words of advice for the team? Um, just stay positive. You know, it's their big day. We don't want them to see our problems. Yeah, good luck, guys. Yeah. Thank okay. you. Thank, Thank you, Jimmy. You. Let's go. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody, uh, I hope you enjoyed the ceremony. We're going to head over to the, uh, the event hall. Right, ladies, help sit them down. Got it. Please, quick as you can. Table five. Right here's table 11. Mm -hmm. What would you like? Can you do the short ribs, please? So here we go. Grant takes every ticket and don't okay. accept a ticket until you understand it. Absolutely. Yeah. OK, that's the only way. Of course. Cool. The fish. Can we do the walleye, please? Walleye, OK, very good. OK. So you've got to synchronize with a DJ to announce the bride and group. Perfect. Big moment, this one. Yes, OK, absolutely. so focus on the timing, yes? Yep. How are you? So when you walk back in, that's when you cue the DJ. Yes. Because the DJ is going to make the announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, be upstanding for the bride and groom. Yes. This is a crucial moment now. Yes, sir. I'm going to go up there right now and talk to them and find out what exactly, when they're exactly coming down. As soon as I come back in the room, um, you'll see me walk in the door, so be kind of looking. As soon as I walk in, yeah, they're but coming you have right to get me. everyone's attention. We will. Yeah. 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 What's all this for? You've, oh, we're only doing the bride and groom. I just want to get their pronunciation what? for the bride and groom. It's just Roxanne and Eric. 
Oh, you're not you going to give their last name? No, Jimmy. How to announce a bride and groom? Please be upstanding for Mr. and Mrs. Mr. and Mrs. Is it Willar or Gullardy? Is the pronunciation? Jimmy, you should have this nailed. You That's what know. I was told. Gullardy or Gullardy. 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 I don't want to fuck up with the bride and right. groom. I okay, so we have to be fucking seamless. Gullardy. Mm -hmm. I'll confirm it. So we've got just to get this. You just wait outside for me. Okay. okay we'll yep. Oh my god. I'll let you tell the DJ how to pronounce your last name correctly. All right. You couldn't have been like the Smiths or something. <laughs> All right. <laughs> OK, so I'm going to go in and kind of get everyone's attention. And go ahead and give me how do you want you would like to be introduced. Mr. and Mrs. Eric Waldoni. The bride and groom are two minutes away, OK? Be careful, yes? Ladies and gentlemen, if I could have your attention, please. We have a very special couple right outside that door. And we would like to give them a big welcome as they enter the room. Let's have a nice round of applause for the new Mr. and Mrs. Eric Waldoni. At this time, they are going to be making their way to the dance floor to share their first dance together as husband and wife. We're now serving the entrees. Just make sure all the asparagus are lining the same way. This okay. is the ends are together. Like so? Yes. Five plates, please, Grant. Service, please. And that's the top table. I'm going to give it to the bride. Go. Second table, yeah, four fish, two beef, yes? Everything looked nice. Oh my gosh, the presentation is beautiful. Yeah, it's awesome. Yes. I love it. Good to hear. I'll Wonderful. come back and check on you soon. Take any plates out of your way here. You're good. Shayla, Shayla, why yes. are you clearing when the whole table haven't finished? Uh, Melanie. I mean, yes. oh, it's so okay. fucking wrong. So wrong. So his plate is clear right. and she's not playing with the food. Yeah. So from a she woman's point, of course she does. So you yes. know that. So this is yep. what I was saying to you. Right. I, I can't tell you the obvious because you know this shit. No, I have to okay. pay more attention. Yeah, and I want them looked after like royalty. And so do you, right? Yes. I'm going to see if they want any more champagne right now. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to come back with some champagne to top everybody off, okay? Marta, the atmosphere in here is incredible. It is. <laughs> I mean, it really is. However, Jimmy needs to be on top of things. Right. Yeah. He needs to nail the small attention details. Okay, yeah. But just look at the atmosphere. The difference is night and day. Yep, they're happy. Let's keep them that way. No. Okay. Get the staff to do that. Put that down. Okay, okay. You're the owner. I know. You are the they owner. They keep asking me to go get beer and go no. do this. I'm not supposed no. to. No. They're picking up after you. You're not picking up after okay. them. Okay. Those days have gone. Okay, thank you. How was dinner? I'm waiting for my wife to pass over her plate so I can oh. finish it off. <laughs> How's everything tasting? It's beautiful. Isn't it awesome? Aww. I love you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Are you good? No. Right. You two. Uh, my Thank time you. is done. Uh, what a day. Uh, yes. You look amazing. Thank Seriously. You so much. I mean, really. Have you had a good day? Thank you. Today was perfect. Yeah. Absolutely uh, perfect. Everything that she could have asked for, yeah. that I could have asked for, yeah. it's been phenomenal. Thank you both for your patience because when oh, we yeah. first met at the beginning of the week, I was more nervous than you two. <laughs> sure. Good luck to you both. Thank, Thank you, you very so much. much. Thank you. Thank you. Take care, sir. I totally thought when we first got here, we're settling. This isn't what I want, but we need to do this quickly. And now it is the fairy tale that you think when you see a castle. It's yeah. jaw dropping the transformation <laughs> that was made. And how are you feeling first? I'm feeling great. The ceremony was amazing. It was, it was awesome. yeah. Who's the general manager? Jimmy is. Who's the owner? I am. <laughs> That's right. And you just oversee it. OK. I don't want you chasing trash cans anymore. I know. I, I know. don't want you sweeping the bathroom. Look after yourself. Okay. okay. Thank you. I need 30 seconds with your son. Okay. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I appreciate it so much. Enjoy this place. I will. Okay. <laughs> I will. You deserve it. Uh, thanks so much. Good night. Uh -huh. Good night. I do not want to see your mum sweeping up. I don't either. You need to step up. I couldn't believe you forgot the name of the bride and groom. Yes, that was yeah. bad. However, your mind's in the right place. Yeah. Do not be scared of change. Tonight was a little rough. Yeah. But think of the difference you made on that young couple. I know. They've seemed so appreciative of everything. And the first thing they do, they're going to go and tell all their friends yes. this amazing wedding they've had. Yes. You're going to promise me you're going to stay on track. I'm going to put in the work. I promise. Good luck. Thank you. Take Again. care. Take Have care. a safe trip. Thank you. Good night. Okay. Yeah. 
Thanks, Gordon. Since my last visit, Landol's Mohican Castle has steadily increased their bookings. Keisha has reorganized the kitchen, and with Jimmy's help, they have found a new head chef to take the lead. And Jimmy has finally taken charge as general manager. Well, let's make a plan and figure out what we want to do timing-wise. Allowing his mother to take a step back as an owner. 